Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review and check this thing out and get it all hooked up. It is the Digit Now HD video recorder. I'm going to hook my Wii up to this so I can record my gameplay. Um, you can hook lots of different things up to this though, like things like a VHS player or game systems or a camcorder, almost anything that has a RCA or component or HDMI output. I like this because my Wii, I use the component video cables. That was the best that uh, you could get for the Nintendo Wii. And if we take a look at the back here, the way this works is we plug our Nintendo Wii into the back of the unit. We're going to plug a USB drive into the unit. And it's going to record in a video file onto that USB drive. And then the cool thing is it's got an HDMI out so we can hook this right up to our TV so we can play the Wii like normal. And when we tell it to record, it just records the gameplay. Same thing if you were going to do, you know, VHS or something like that. You'd be able to watch your VHS on your TV as it's recording. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool because a lot of the options, other options I saw out there, uh, you know, you had to use your laptop in some way, shape, or form. So um, I was really interested in this and, and how I was still able to, or how I would still be able to play the Wii on the TV, but just record this directly onto the USB drive as I'm playing. So, um, you know, some of the stuff here, say gameplay recording from PC, PS3, Xbox, so like gaming systems. Um, you know, it talks about the storage under the USB stick. Um, it talks about the HDMI out and the component uh, cable inputs. It talks that it uh, records in full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution uh, or 1280 by 720 resolution is an option. It's got the HDMI pass through uh, without any time lags and we'll be able to test that out as we, we play the Wii uh, because we'll know if there's lags. And then easy setup, just uh, click one button to start recording. So, you know, this thing looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and open it up here. And here is the device. Right here. And we can see, you know, here's the record button. Um, here's the front of the device. You know, got some lights and different things over here. We'll see what those are all about. Um, and then here's the back of the device where you could hook up, you know, the standard red, uh, red, white, and yellow RCA cables, um, or you could use your, your component video inputs if, uh, whatever you're recording from uses those. So, um, that's pretty awesome. We're going to go, um, get this set up here in just a second. Let's see what else is inside the box though. Um, we get our power cable. We get standard RCA cables, um, you know, if, if, you know, you were using a VCR or something like that and you didn't have a pair of these, that's nice that they give it to you. Um, this looks like a, like a, re a remote device, you know, so you could set this up, um, you know, away from the device where you could hit this button to start and stop recording. We'll verify that when we look at the manual. We got our HDMI cable here. We have um, video capture software uh, for the computer. That's pretty cool. Little thank you from Digit Now, free 18 month warranty. And it talks about that on the back. And the owner's manual. And I, I always talk about this in all my videos. Make sure you read through the owner's manual before you use this. Um, this gives you all the necessary information to make sure you use this thing correctly. So really important uh, to read through this. Okay, well let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. I'll show you how I hook it up and then we'll test it out and see what it's all about. All right guys, here is the device outside of the box. Um, We'll talk about the lights there on the right hand side when we get it hooked up and what they all mean. Um, we got the buttons that we'll talk about as well on the, the left and we got our record button on top there. On this side we got the HDMI in and the USB and on this side we got the HDMI out 
and the um, record key, like the remote record device, the little button that we were looking at, um, if you're going to use that. And then on the back, we got the um, green, blue, and red for the components, and then the yellow, red, and white for the standard um, RCA. And if you do hook up components, you'll hook your video up here, and then you'll use the audio uh, from this side over here. You just wouldn't use the um, yellow portion of this. So um, make sure to pay attention to the HDMI out and the HDMI in. Um, you know, when you're passing the video through, um, you're going to use the HDMI out to run from here to your TV. Um, the input here on this side is if you have a device that you're plugging into this that, you know, maybe it's a, a, a some type of game system that uses HDMI, uh, you would plug it into the input on this side. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up and we'll talk about how to hook it up and uh, what all these buttons and lights mean. All right, guys, so we got this hooked up. Um, let me show you how I did it really quick. So on the back here, these are the cables that are coming from the Wii or whatever you were going to be recording off of. But on this side, I have the component, the red, blue, and green. Um, these are the video portion of the component. Then I have the red and white, which are the audio portion. And the only one not hooked up here is the yellow, the standard yellow uh, from the standard RCA. Um, this cable right here, um, this is the power cable for the unit. I just have that plugged in. Um, have my USB drive plugged into the side here. Um, it's all lit up and doing its thing. And then over here on this side is the HDMI out. So this cable just runs uh, into the HDMI input um, in the back of the TV. And then this cable here is the remote record button. Um, so we're going to just test that out just to see how that works. Okay, on the front of the box here, you got two different input options. Um, three technically because you have an HDMI input over here if whatever device you're using uses HDMI. So um, you can switch between HDMI, um, component, and then standard video. You do that by hitting this input button right here. So when I hit input, we can see that right now it's blinking on the standard RCA. Um, we can hit it again and we see that the blue blinking light is the HDMI. And then we hit it again and we see that the red light there is for the component cables. Um, and it does have a video input coming from there because that's what my Wii is plugged into. Okay guys, so we do have the resolution button here too that you can toggle back and forth between 720 and 1080p. The red light is 720p, the blue light is 1080p. Um, and like for the Wii, the, the maximum that it outputs is 480p. Um, so 720p is the right selection here. And we have our record button here and we have the um, remote button here. And this will, you know, you can stretch this out as far as it will let you um, if, you know, that's going to reach to wherever you're sitting or whatever it is. So um, let's go ahead and hit record here. I'm going to use this button to do it. We can see that the record light turned on there and then we can see some action happening on the flash drive. So let me go ahead and record a little bit of my Wii gameplay and then we'll be back to check out the quality of the recording. All right, see you guys shortly. All right, guys, I'm all done recording. So I started the recording with this button here. I'm going to go ahead and end it uh, with this button here. And we can see that the recording is blinking there and then turned off. So uh, now I'm going to go plug the USB drive into the computer and we'll take it from there. Okay, guys, so you can see here the video quality is awesome. Um, you know, it just recorded this directly onto the USB stick um, in an MP4 format. So I just plugged the USB stick into my computer uh, and I had MP4 video and sound and uh, ready to go. So, um, yeah, it's an awesome device. I'm very happy with it. There was no lag during the gameplay. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you learned something from it and it was informational for you. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.